Welcome you all, welcome to all your people to come tonight to, uh, to celebrate our awards program. <laughs> Susie, Marlies, Karen, Lee, Mike. <laughs> I think we've all seen the people's voices, <laughs> along with newsreaders and dog whisperers, are my favourite voices in the world. <laughs> they can do special magical things. The lovely and slightly taller Leanne and I were asked to say a few words about this year's judging process. But the reality is that we are actually the heart and souls of our organisations. We are the voice of our company to our customers, but more important than that, we are the voice of our customers back to our organisations. And I, for one, am incredibly proud to be part of this industry. Richard Bailey, Flexi Crew. Um, I just want to say, to be recognised by my industry peers for, for this award is one of the biggest honours that I've ever received, um, and I'd really like to thank the ATA judges and, and the sponsors for continuing to support the contact, the contact centre industry with events like this. Best in Australia, um, that's got to be a career highlight. Huge, yeah, a massive surprise and an incredible honour. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm really quite stumped at the moment. It hasn't sunk in yet, I'm sure it will probably tomorrow when I wake up, but uh, this is yeah, really incredible. Ashley Payne from Flexigroup! Uh, firstly, I just want to say thank you and to all the other entrants and the finalists of Australia. Um, congratulations on your finalists in your state as well. Yeah, let's talk it up. You, you literally are now the best teleprofessional in the country. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole country, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, so what's your boss's name? Michael. Michael, Ashley needs a pay rise. <laughs> a big one. Sue Ferguson, Sitting Water. Um, I want to congratulate all the other finalists because we're all winners. And I'm really honoured to be amongst um, some really extraordinary people. Um, look, it's an awesome thing to win. Um, the whole process of going through the awards is quite challenging, but I would recommend anyone do it. It's a great way to look at, actually look back on your career and what you've done and what you've achieved and what you're about. And um, so I think from that perspective, it's a, it's a great thing to do. It's Cathy Horgan. This is an amazing honour, and I'm absolutely thrilled to be standing up here tonight. Thank you very much. Um, now, personally, congratulations on the Manager's Award. Uh, again, I'd imagine right up there with a the career highlight. It is, yes. I, um, there's no doubt that uh, Sue and I in the centre have worked hard for this recognition, and I think we're probably just a little bit in shock that we've done as well as we've done, but uh, definitely a career highlight. Yeah. Newcastle Permanent Building Society. On behalf of our amazing leader, John Connolly, Senior Executive Cole Kirkby, who has been with us in this journey right from the start, our team leaders, agents and support staff, I thank you. Okay, everyone is probably wondering, what do you need to do to win Centre of the Year Under 50? Well, this was the third time that we've entered this, um, the awards in this category, and I think it's all, about, um, it's all about the journey, and it's all about experiencing and learning from... Each time that we entered it, we took on board the feedback, and we, we worked really hard to, to reach the, the benchmark that they kept setting for us.
and the winner is Sydney Water. And today I can proudly say that we have a contact centre that everyone at Sydney Water is proud of. We're proud of our achievements and we're certainly very proud and honoured to be standing here tonight. Thank you very much. Okay, so for, the, for those out there again that have, that have got a centre, if I can talk about that first, uh, as you said, you've been through the process a couple of times and got that feedback. Um, what was probably the biggest learning your first year up for those that are out there in the first year that you probably didn't expect? I think the first year we probably did too much of a presentation and didn't have enough staff involvement. So the following year we took that on board and we pretty much reversed the whole presentation where uh, the management team said very little and the entire presentation was done by the staff. Yep, I think that's an excellent tip. Queensland West Park it is! Um, thank you to the ATA, thank you to the sponsors, mostly thank you to the team back up there in 33 Corporate Drive, Cannon Hill, because that's what this is all about. This is a people business, we can have the best building, the best technology, but where it makes a difference, we have 300 people that come to work every day to try and do their best, and it's the magic happens with the CSL, so thank you guys, you do a great job. Okay, well, we are joined here by John Davidson from uh, Westpac, and this is this is the big award. This is the over 120 FTE. So, John, congratulations to you and the team. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, what's it mean for Westpac? You guys are going through a big rebranding at the moment. This must be just the icing on the cake. Oh, it is. It, it just shows that you know the the things we're doing in terms of engaging our people in the change and making sure that they understand the journey we're on is all coming together. This is another proof point for us.